To become an independent country or to stay as part of the United Kingdom, that is a crucial decision affecting these Scots. Here at one of the country's top universities, Finance Secretary John Swinney expressed his optimism about the economic opportunities open to Scotland in the event of independence. Touching on a number of topics, including Scotland's recovery from recession, the growth of its economy and its prospects under independence, Mr Swinney discussed the key decisions facing the country's future. Turning his attention to the prospects for graduates, Mr Swinney believes although the labour market is improving, it's still imperative to create an environment where university leavers will flourish. What we've got to ensure is that we create a dynamic economic climate uh, for business within Scotland and that will create the graduate opportunities of the future. I would want to do that by making sure that we used all of the different levers of responsibility we have, whether it's about the use of tax credits through the research and development system or whether it's about incentivising different developments within key sectors. We've got to use every lever at our disposal and the frustration for me today is that I don't have access to all of those different levers of policy to create the best climate for Scottish business. The Finance Secretary also praised Glasgow Caledonian University's ability to attract international students and is looking for these students to stay in Scotland beyond their studies. One of the great strengths of Glasgow Caledonian University and many other universities in Scotland is they have successfully attracted a whole range, very substantial numbers of international students to come to Scotland and to learn. And they've done that because of the quality and the excellence that these universities have presided over. So it's important that we encourage that flow of students to continue. But I think just as importantly, once those students have finished their education, we've got to encourage them to stay here and to be part of building the Scottish economy. And that's something I would like to see taken forward so that we can maximise the interest and the energy of these individuals to contribute to the development of the Scottish economy. As well as improving graduate opportunities, Mr Swinney wants to promote entrepreneurship, innovation and creativity. One of the great strengths of being of independent mind in an independent situation is that you're on your own two feet. You think you've got to think of your own solutions. That is in itself an enterprising idea and as a consequence it can create a much greater sense of entrepreneurship within our country. Now Scotland has got a rich tradition of entrepreneurship whether it's about the great inventions of the 19th century or whether it's about some of the great innovators of the 20th century and the early 21st century that have generated enormous wealth in Scotland and we are lucky to have experienced that contribution. What's important is that we create the conditions to encourage the development of a new entrepreneurial era for, era for Scotland and that is something that we can do with independence. Although we are still in the very early stages of the run-up to the independence referendum and there are still many questions to answer, the Finance Secretary is confident there is a prosperous future for Scotland's businesses and economy.